Hi, this is Steve Strickland with Camtech Engineering, and today for Mastercam Monday, we're going to talk about a new multi-axis toolpath called Deburr. Deburr is very useful for breaking edges as well as deburring your part, and works across three, four, and five-axis strategies. For this video, I'm going to show you two examples: one at three-axis, and the other at five-axis. So let's go ahead and get started. In this example, we want to break the edges on our basic cube model here. And the first one I'm going to walk through is how to do that with a three axis strategy using Deburr. So we'll find Deburr up here in the multi axis section of the toolbar. So as we select Deburr, the first thing we're going to have to select is our tool. Now, with Deburr, it only supports the ball and the lollipop tool. In our case, we're going to use a ball. The holder is of particular importance because it allows for uh, collision detection, so you want to define the holder you're actually using. The cut pattern, we're going to select the surfaces to deburr by selecting the entire model. And then for the edge detection, we're going to go ahead and leave that as auto detect, but they do allow for a user defined, but we're going to leave auto detect for now. We're not going to exclude any edges, and we're going to leave our path parameters, our edge shape, all as defaults. Our tool axis control, uh, there again, we're gonna use a three axis to begin with. For our linking, we're gonna, instead of making this user defined, we're gonna allow Mastercam to automatically define that. And let's see where the toolpath comes out. So we'll see here there at the top edge and we'll do a back plot here and see what falls out. Now you'll see it goes around that edge, but then you're seeing it starts to come down these vertical edges there. And we're not gonna want that with a three axis strategy. So I wanna go in here and I wanna exclude those edges back here in cut pattern. So I'm gonna do so by selecting edges here and simply go around the model and select those edges to exclude. Say okay. And then I'm gonna regen and now we'll see when we back plot, we don't get that behavior where it's coming down the edge vertically. It simply goes around the top and comes out. Now let's go and take a look and verify. See, it's breaking the edge there and leaving us with a nice, smoother finish there up at the top where that edge is taken down. And so that was the three axis example. Now I'm gonna move on to a full five. So for the five S axis example, we're going to start with the three and modify. So I'm gonna right click and copy after here and go in and modify the parameters. And the first thing I want to modify here is in tool axis control, I want to go from three to five. And then I'll go back up here to cut pattern and we want to turn off the edges that we had excluded because we want to attack all of the edges in one operation. That's the point of doing this with five axis. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to select my chain and I'm gonna delete the chain and say okay. So now I'm gonna leave the defaults as we said before gonna say okay and simply regen and we'll see here with a back plot the all the edges of this cube are going to be attacked in one operation Going around that comes up vertically all the way around so let's go ahead and take a look at a verify as we play through we're gonna see a nice broken edge there on all sides of our cube in one operation. So this is gonna close out our Mastercam Monday on the new multi-axis deburr toolpath. If you have any questions about what I did here today or how to set it up specifically on your part, please don't hesitate in reaching out. I'd be happy to help. Thank you.